hi friends welcome to my channel and in this video I am going to show you how to install child domain control on Windows Server 2016 so this is the fourth video of Windows Server 2016 tutorial hope you guys uh, will enjoy my this video and if you want to check out the previous videos you can just go to my playlist and browse it so oh, let's start some idea about my demo environment in my demo environment I have installed previously on on video first and third two domain control which is win2k16 dc01 and win2k16 dc02 so this is here my dc01 where i have installed my active directory and dns and this is dc2 where i have installed active directory and dns role so my domain name is victorinfosol.local if you want to verify just go here and verify also if you go to active directory user sense computer you can verify my domain name vectorinfosol.local so the next server is win2k16 cdc01 which is child domain control 01 i'm going to install my child domain control with the name of noida.vectorinfosol.com on this server so let's go to server this is the fresh install machine no roles no feature is installed nothing configuration is done for yet so let's do step by step and install your child domain control so the first task is configure IP address so I am going to on my server manager dashboard local server click on app Ethernet 0 I am going to assign IP address manually which is given in my PPT. I'm going to disable IPv6 and select IPv4 properties IP address. I'm going to type my IP address 1251 192.168.1.1 192.168.1.251 because once the active directory is installed on this machine this is going to work as a DNS so I'm going to provide preferred DNS at itself and my uh, alternative DNS is my DC01 server and for you can say second third DNS is my DC02 okay 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 close close and close so on next step we have to rename the machine and join to domain and so oh, just going to check out okay it's configured IP address is configured you can see IP address is configured so now I'm going to click on work group from system properties computer name going to change it my machine name went to K16 CDC 01 and my domain name which is vector info soul dot local hit enter it will going to ask my credential I'm going to put my credential for my domain and password so welcome to Victor Infosol dot local domain I'm going to restart this machine close it yes yes restart now so you can verify we have done the task 1 and task 2 machine in, in under the domain if you want to verify you can verify from here my domain name and I'm going to click on computers you can verify the machine enjoyed to domain so we are good to go to third step which is install active directory domain services from server managers so just waiting to reboot the server and comes up with the login screen so we are at the login screen I'm going to hit control alter Dell and I'm going to log in with my domain administrator account which is vector info soul slash administrator so I can get the full access on my domain to promote this server as a child domain controller so it is applying user setting preparing windows so we are in
so the server manager is open so doing next is next us install the ADDS going to click on manage from server manager add role and features and to maximize it next begin your installation type role based and feature based installation click next and here we can verify our server click next I'm going to select my active directory domain services and yes required features need to be included next from feature page no need to check anything just click next and active directory domain services okay next and click on install so it will take the uh, binaries files gets installed in Windows Server 2016 after that we can promote this server as a domain controller which is our next task you can verify promote server as a child domain controller so just waiting for get the installation done for active directory services so the installation is started on our target server which is cdc01 it will take one or two minutes to get the installation done So the installation is almost finished 50% So the installation on on our server is completed successfully configuration required and I am going to click on promote this server as a domain controller So we have three options here the first one is as domain control and existing domain which is not we are going to select we are going to select the second option add a new domain to an existing forest our domain I'm going to select here we got two option domain tree or child domain name so if I go to select a tree then it's forest name if I'm going to select child domain then it's so me parents domain name so I'm I'm going to install my new domain which is you can say which is anoida.victorinfosol under under my parent domain which is victorinfosol so I'm going to type my new domain name noida here and going to click next it will very it will take my administrator credential for my current domain which is victorinfosol.local so going to click on next will verify everything so we are good to go I'm going to type my active directory restore mode password and for domain function level we have only one option Windows Server technical preview because we are using all the server with Windows Server 2016 technical preview 3 if you go here and you can verify Windows Server 2016 TP3 so perfectly fine going to click on next and on the DNS option leave it default it will search for NetBIOS name in my case it's going to be a NOIDA for my child domain So here we are, the child uh, NetBIOS name is Noida, click on next. Then active active database path, log file and says volume. So if we need we can change it. In my case I am going to leave it default. Click next, it's, it's review the option which we have selected to promote this server as a child domain controller it's, if you want to save the script you can click here 
and you can save this script either I'm going to close it and click next and it will check the pre-request check for my server if everything seems okay then we can go to go to promote this server as a domain control so all the pre-request checks are passed successfully so we are good to go to install active directory dns role click on install so it will take few minutes it's depend on your server and bandwidth speed which is going to replicate data from our parent domain controller so waiting for DNS installations so now you can verify it's disjoining the machine from vector info soul because it's going to going to act as a domain controller so it will register it uh, our server with the domain controller things so replicating configuration directory partitions replicating critical domain informations creating trust relationship with noida.vectorinfosol.local with our parent domain which is vectorinfosol.local So it's re restarting the server. You can see after promoting the server, so it will take a few minutes to get restart the server. Once the server is rebooted, you can verify the server is promoted as a child domain controller. From here, I think you will get the change domain name if I am going to click here. No, it will not going to work now because our child domain control is down now. It's rebooting. So once the server is up, is everything is working fine? Then you can verify child domain. So it will take few minutes. Just wait for. This is a CDC zero one to get some. So the server is applying computer settings. So the server is rebooted and we are at the login screen. I am going to hit Control Alt Del login server and now you can verify this server under the domain noida so I'm going to log in with my child domain control administrator account which is noida slash administrator So just waiting to server manager to get loaded completely. So now you can verify we have Active Directory DC domain services and DNS install on child domain and if I go to tools, Active Directory users and computers, you can verify our child domain which is noida noida dot vector infosol dot local I'm going to create few OUs here noida I'm going to create 
few more we use under the noida like workstations users groups and final one is server so we have successfully installed our child domain if I go to right click on my domain name if I select change domain and delete noida from beginning and click OK so you can verify we are connected to our parent domain which is vector info soul and here is the object which is under the vector info soul a same thing we can do on our DC01 I'm on DC01 machine and I'm going to connect my child domain controller so change domain and I'm going to type here noida click OK so we are on our child domain controller child domain so we are done with the ch verifying child domain as well as and s please subscribe me for more videos thank you for watching if you have any question any query related to this you can drop me a mail on my given mail address hope you guys are uh, enjoyed my this video and thanks for watching once again bye bye